Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a 100% drugstore makeup tutorial. And again, I would like to thank Flower Beauty for sponsoring another one of my videos. Today we are going to be using their foundations, powders, and concealers. And I was just blown away by the formula. We will also be featuring this amazing sponge that I've seen everybody on YouTube talk about and I actually tried this out for the first time. This thing is softer than the original Beauty Blender. Like, this thing is amazing. Let me quickly jump into the products that I will be featuring and we'll jump right into this makeup tutorial. So first we have these Flower Beauty Foundations. These are called the Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel All Day Wear Foundations. I don't know if that's the name but I literally just read everything that it says on the bottle. It's exactly what it says. This makes my skin look so luminous. It gives me the coverage that I need without it looking cakey. It is such a nice lightweight foundation. It doesn't feel tacky on the skin. It just makes my skin look luminous from within. It makes it look healthy. It just completely evened out my complexion, gave me the coverage that I'm looking for, and it is buildable for those of you guys that like a more fuller coverage. It does come with a pump, which is really, really convenient. So there are 12 shades currently available. I find that mixing a nude L3 and L2 makes my perfect little shade. Up next, we have their concealers. These are the Light Illusion concealers, and these are really, really cool cool. What I love about the formula is that it's a very full coverage duty concealer, but it has a radiance to it so it doesn't look heavy or it's not drying underneath the eyes. And not only that, this formula contains chamomile and aloe extract to really reduce the redness and puffiness underneath the eyes. Okay, last thing, I promise we're done. I have these Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powders. So these powders just make your skin look nice and soft and airbrushed without it looking cakey. This formula also does doesn't contain any talc for the smoothest application. So yeah, I really enjoyed these powders. They're like a light to medium coverage. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products, you guys can just hit up your local Walmart, Ulta Beauty, or if you're an online shopper like I am, you can just go to www.flowerbeauty.com and make your little purchase. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Now let's just jump right into this super easy, fresh drugstore makeup tutorial. All right, you guys, first we're starting off with a freshly clean face. Now we're gonna moisturize using this CoverGirl product and just apply that evenly all over. And this is just going to give your skin some hydration and moisture. And then you can go in and use an eyebrow pencil or whatever you use to fill in your brows. I'm gonna be trying out this one by The Balm. I just totally realized that this one is not drugstore otherwise. I would have used a different brow pencil, but these are new and I wanted to try them out, so I really, really like them. But honestly, these are just brows, so feel free and go in with your favorite brow products. I really love the ones from NYX. After we have those brows filled in, I'm going to go in with the Brow Stylus Brow Gel from L'Oreal. This is a new product and I've been obsessed with this brow gel. It just gets right in there and combs my brows, sets them in place, and gives me some texture. Now I'm going to go in with the Flower Light Illusion Foundations. I am going to mix two of these shades because one is a little too yellow and one is a little too neutral pink for me. I'm going to go in with L3 and L2 give them a little swatch and this one looked like it matched me but I was just afraid it was going to maybe oxidize so I just decided to mix it in with L2 and that just turned out to be my perfect shade but I can make both of these work depending on what I'm feeling that day so I'm just going to do a little mixture you can actually use a brush or sponge depending on your preference but today I'm going in with this sponge that everybody has been talking about and you guys, this is the softest sponge I've ever felt. Like, I'm serious. You can either use this foundation brush or you can go in with a sponge. So I'm going to use this foundation brush to actually just spread out this foundation evenly all over my face. And once we did that, I'm going to go in with the sponge, which I've been using nonstop ever since I tried it. And we're just going to pounce that into the skin. As you guys can see, my reaction, I was just amazed with how this sponge applied my makeup. My skin still looks like skin. It just looks like a better version of my skin. It's more evened out. It has a nice complexion to it. The foundation just gives me the perfect amount of coverage for an everyday easy look. It gives me luminosity. It doesn't make my skin look flat. So I was just so impressed with this foundation. And here's a close-up of it being applied as you guys can see it just like melts right into the skin and makes it look so good i'm like obsessed i 
Up next, we're going to conceal underneath our eyes, and I'm going to use these Flower Light Illusion Concealers, and these are so amazing. They're full coverage, but they have a nice radiant finish to them. They really remind me of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers, which you guys know are very popular in the beauty community. I just don't really like them because they're a little too greasy for me, but I find that these work amazing. So yeah, you just want to apply the concealer anywhere where you want that extra coverage. Today, I'm just going underneath my eyes and the center of my nose and then blending it out with the Flower Beauty sponge. Up next, we're going to use the Flower Light Illusion Perfecting Powder to set underneath our eyes and the rest of our face. I'm going in with the shade Porcelain underneath my eyes because it's going to give me like that brightened look and it's going to set my concealer. I love this powder because it has like a soft matte finish to it so it doesn't look heavy or cakey underneath my eyes. Like I can always use this to touch up and I don't have to worry about like my makeup looking like too much. And then I'm going to go in with a shade darker to set the rest of my face because I find that this powder matches me a little bit better even though I can make both powders work. I just wanted something with a little bit more color in it so I don't look washed out. But you guys, I took a flash photography photo with this makeup on and my skin did not flash back at all. Like this makeup is so photograph friendly. I'm like amazed by it. Like you guys really need to try out these products. I actually turned down the lights so you guys can see the finished like foundation and everything like that. It just looks super natural and fresh on the skin. Moving on, I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is my all-time favorite bronzer from the drugstore. Like it's so good. If not, probably my favorite bronzer of all time. So I'm just gonna use a dual fiber brush and just bronze up my cheekbones, my temple, my forehead, my neck, my jawline, my nose, and I'm gonna take a little small blending brush and apply that all over my lid, my crease, and my lower lash line just to kind of tie everything together. You can add blush if you want, but I kind of like didn't really feel like using blush today. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline highlight, my all-time fave, and just apply it to the highest points of my face. So like the center of my forehead, just a little bit above my brow my cheekbone, my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow. And what I like to do is actually connect the brow bone and the cheekbone highlight together. So when I turn my head, you can just really see that highlight. That's like a little trick that we like to do. If you want your highlight to be popping in photos, you just do that. You kind of connect the brow bone and cheekbone. All right, so that is it for the face. Now moving on to lashes. Day to day, I just like to use some good old mascara. So I'm going to take the Lash Warrior from Flower. This is just like one of my favorite mascaras at the moment. Like I just can't put this down and yeah, it's really, really good. For the lips, I didn't know what color to go for and I just looked at my nails and I got inspired. So I actually found this Flower Liquid Lipstick. This is like such a Tanya color. I love it so much. If you want your lipstick to last a very long time, just make sure they're prepped beforehand. So exfoliate it and moisturize and go in with a good layer of liquid lipstick and let that set. And that is the finished look. I am so obsessed. It's such a fresh summer look. I love this color. I love this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will just catch you guys in my next one. Bye.